Welcome to our channel, where we bring you terrifying horror stories that will keep you wide awake with fear. In this video, we present a terrifying tale that will haunt you long after it's over. So turn off the lights, grab a blanket, and get ready for a mind-boggling experience. Mooncaster Castle is a historic fortress situated on the western coast of Cumbria, England. It was built during the 14th century, and its original purpose was to protect the region from Scottish invaders. The castle was a sprawling estate, encompassing several hundred acres of land, including a chapel, stables, and a hunting park. Over the centuries, the castle has been owned by various noble families, each leaving their mark on the property. It was during the Tudor era that the castle saw its darkest days. The castle was used as a prison, and many of its prisoners were subjected to unspeakable acts of torture and execution. The walls of the dungeon still bear the scars of the past, and the spirits of the tortured souls are said to still haunt the castle. The castle was also the site of several battles, including one during the English Civil War in the mid-17th century. The castle was damaged during the conflict, and many of its inhabitants were killed. It was rebuilt in the 18th century, but the scars of its violent past remained. During the Victorian era, the castle began to attract the attention of paranormal investigators, who claimed to have seen and heard strange things within its walls. The castle remained in the possession of the same family for centuries, but in the early 20th century, it was sold to a businessman who planned to turn it into a hotel. However, his plans were never realized, and the castle fell into disrepair. In the decades that followed, the castle was abandoned and left to the elements. The vines and ivy that once covered it withered away, and the old stones became worn and weathered. The castle became a ghostly shell of its former self, its dark history overshadowing its once grandeur. Despite its eerie reputation, the castle has remained a popular tourist destination, with visitors flocking to see its haunted halls and dark past. It is said that the spirits of the castle's past inhabitants still roam its halls, their tormented souls unable to rest. As the group of students approached the castle, the wind howled around them and leaves rustled on the ground. The air was thick with a sense of foreboding, and the students felt as though they were being watched. The old stones of the castle loomed before them, a silent witness to centuries of violence and horror. The sky was a deep shade of gray, as if the castle had drawn the darkness to it. The students could feel the weight of its history, and they knew that they were entering a place where the line between the living and the dead was thin. As they entered the castle, the group couldn't help but notice the darkness that surrounded them. The interior was in complete disarray, with debris strewn across the floors and cobwebs covering every surface. The walls were adorned with paintings of long-dead ancestors, their eyes seeming to follow the group's every move. The air was musty and thick, and the only sounds were the echoes of their footsteps. Emily, the group's researcher, pulled out a notebook and flipped through the pages as she recounted the dark history of the castle. The castle had a long and sordid history of torture, execution, and betrayal. It was said that the spirits of those who had suffered and died within its walls still lingered there, their tormented souls unable to rest. The group cautiously proceeded through the castle, their eyes scanning every corner and their ears tuned into any sound. The silence was deafening at first, but as they ventured deeper into the ancient fortress, eerie noises began to fill the air. Unearthly whispers and ghostly moans echoed through the halls, making their hair stand on end and their hearts beat faster. The temperature dropped suddenly, and the group could see their breaths fogging in the chilly air. They shivered in their coats, feeling a sense of dread creeping up their spines. Nevertheless, they persisted in their exploration, determined to unravel the mystery of the castle's haunted reputation. As they continued to record their journey, the activity around them intensified. Shadows flickered and danced on the walls, and objects flew across the room without any explanation. Strange voices called out to them, beckoning them to follow a path they didn't fully understand. Yet, they kept their resolve, bravely facing the unknown as they documented every moment of their adventure. It wasn't until the second day that things took a turn for the worse. The group had split up to cover more ground, when suddenly, Anna's screams echoed through the castle. 
piercing the eerie silence that had surrounded them. The rest of the group ran towards her voice, their hearts pounding with fear. When they found her, she was curled up on the floor, her body shaking uncontrollably. She kept muttering about the eyes, and they could see the terror etched on her face. As they tried to calm her down, they replayed the footage from her camera. They were horrified to see a shadowy figure with twisted limbs lurking behind her, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. It seemed to be reaching out to her with long, bony fingers. Anna's experience left her traumatized. Every time they entered a new room or corridor, she would tense up and start shaking. She was constantly looking over her shoulder as if something was watching her. The rest of the group tried to comfort her, but they were just as terrified as she was. The castle was alive with malevolent energy, and they were all trapped in its clutches. They had to get out, but every attempt to escape seemed to lead them deeper into the castle's labyrinth corridors. The fear was suffocating, and they were all starting to wonder if they would ever make it out alive. The group was in a constant state of fear. Every time they thought they were making progress, they found themselves back where they started. They were trapped, unable to escape the castle's grasp. As the group continued their search for a way out of the castle, they stumbled upon a room that had been locked from the outside. They managed to force the door open and were immediately hit with a foul odor. Inside, they found one of their team members, Sarah, who had been missing for days. She was lying on the ground, her body contorted in pain, and her eyes wide with terror. Sarah's limbs were twisted in unnatural positions, and her skin was pale and cold to the touch. Her eyes were fixed on something in the corner of the room, but when the group looked, there was nothing there. They knew that something had attacked her, but they couldn't find any evidence of what it could have been. The group was shaken by Sarah's fate, and they realized that they were not just dealing with a haunted castle, but something far more sinister. They knew they had to get out of there before it was too late, but the castle seemed determined to keep them trapped inside its walls. Every door they tried was locked, every window bared shut. They were running out of options and time. Days turned into weeks, and the group was running out of food and water. They were exhausted, terrified, and desperate to leave. But as they searched for a way out, they began to realize that they weren't alone in the castle. They could hear footsteps echoing in the distance, doors creaking open and slamming shut, and the sound of eerie whispers coming from every direction. There were other people there, people who had been trapped for years. The group tried to help them, but it was too late. The other people were already dead, their bodies mutilated and twisted beyond recognition. The smell of decay was overpowering, and the group was forced to cover their faces with scarves to block out the stench. And then, just as suddenly as they had appeared, the group disappeared. No one knew what had happened to them, and despite extensive searches, no trace of them was ever found. The only thing that remained were three cameras, each one filled with footage that showed the horrific experiences that the students had experienced. Rumors swirled about what could have happened to the group. Some said that they had gotten lost in the maze-like castle and perished from dehydration or starvation. Others speculated that they had been attacked by some supernatural force and that the castle had claimed their lives as it had claimed so many before them. The footage recovered from the cameras only added to the mystery. It showed the group becoming increasingly desperate as they searched for a way out of the castle. They were clearly on edge, jumping at every sound and looking over their shoulders constantly. As the days went on, the footage became more and more disturbing. Shadows moved on their own, objects flew across the room, and the sound of distant whispers filled the air. But the most horrifying footage was of the final night. The group was gathered in one room, huddled together for warmth. Suddenly, the camera began to shake violently, and a blood-curdling scream echoed through the room. The camera fell to the ground, and the footage cut out. Investigators who watched the footage could find no explanation for what had happened. The footage had been tampered with in places, but it was unclear who or what had done it. Some believed that the students had been attacked by a supernatural force that somehow interfered with the cameras. Others thought that the students themselves had destroyed the footage in a fit of terror, unable to cope with what they had seen. 
To this day, the fate of the group remains a mystery no one has deciphered yet. This is all for today. Show your support to our channel by sharing the video if you liked it. Also, don't forget to hit that like button.